Kansas City is preparing to welcome back country music superstar Garth Brooks on August 7th. Tickets go on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. And he actually joins us live this morning. Good morning. We are so glad to have you here with us. I'm sure these aren't typical normal country star hours, but we are thrilled to have you. <laughs> you are 100% correct. I don't know how you do. look at you look like you've been doing this like for, for hours. You look like this is regular for you. I just well, thank you. It's a lot of lighting, but you look great. <laughs> <laughs> and you're actually morning. good morning. You're joining us with exciting news. You're coming back to Kansas City to perform at Arrowhead for the very first time. You must be just so excited. I, I, I can't tell you how excited I am. Then add on the fact that you haven't got to play. It's like what you just don't want to do is you just don't want to waste any second whatsoever. Just savor it, be grateful, and let's all get together and let's have a party. Absolutely. Not only are you returning to Kansas City, but you're returning to touring and playing in front of a live crowd again post-pandemic. How will it feel stepping on stage again in front of all your fans? Well, man, the truth is, every time you leave the stage, you go, hey, that might be my last time to play, so soak it up and, and be grateful. But you never, ever think that something like a pandemic is going to happen, right? So as much as you prepare for it, I, I got to tell you that we're all excited to get back on there. It's going to be one of those things, too, where you're just totally out of shape. I'm going to be done in like the first three minutes, and, and I don't know what to do with the rest of the night. They're going to have to pick me up and carry my big ass across the finish line, but it, it's going to be fun. The adrenaline, the adrenaline rush will definitely get you through. I know your fans are so excited to see you and you have so many endless hits. Is there one in particular that you are looking more forward to the most playing live? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's if you've been to a Gar show, there's going to be songs like The River that's going to steal every moment. You'd think it's one of the bigger, crazier ones, but it's The River that usually everybody just kind of looks around and just kind of takes it in. It's a beautiful moment, and then they allow you to play new stuff. They want you to play all the old stuff, and you want to play it. And then, of course, here comes Friends in Low Places, right? And they go, do you ever get tired of playing Friends in Low Places? And what people don't understand, I haven't played Friends in Low Places in 100 years. All I do is start the first four notes and then I watch. It's, it's, it's one of the coolest things to witness on the planet. Is that, I'm sure that's one of your very favorite things about performing with your fans is that they kind of take over and sing with you. Yeah, I mean, it's the easiest gig on the planet. I don't have to do anything except just remind myself, keep your gut sucked in, keep your gut sucked. That's, that's my whole thing all night long. But as far as the lyrics, they know them inside and out and uh, they've got it. So my job's just pretty much just to get up there and then kind of uh, kind of be a fan with them. And we kind of take the ride together. One last question before we have to let you go this morning. I know you're a busy man, but what should your fans expect when they go to Arrowhead and see you live this summer? Man, I hope they they should expect, like always, they should expect gratefulness. They should expect the gratitude from the band, the crew, and the artist. Uh, but my thing is just expect the unexpected because you kind of like you're driving this thing. So three things that you know is going to happen, even though it's not supposed to happen, it's going to be way too loud in there. And we're going to play way too long in there. And it's going to be, it's, it's just, I don't know, this is called the loudest stadium in the United States, right? Trust me, they haven't seen loud yet. Wait till this place rolls in there. This will be fun. The thunder will be rolling, rain or shine uh, that night in Kansas City. Absolutely. We are so looking forward to it again. Thank you so much for having us here. Garth Brooks at Arrowhead Stadium on August 7th. Tickets go on sale tomorrow at 10 a.m. Thanks for joining us this morning. You're watching KQ2's Hometown This Morning. Stay with us. We'll be right back.